Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. In the previous episode we arrived to Hellstadt and uh, honestly the city was uh, a big disappointment to me. I expected uh, that we would see uh, a good variety of uh, recruits with decent backgrounds and instead we just got a bunch of people with uh, some of the, like, the... the Whereas backgrounds that are almost guaranteed to be throwaways. There's only one person that uh, I'm, I'm going to try. It's a poacher. Usually I'm trying to ignore poachers and get like boyers or hunters instead. But we haven't seen those or only very few. And we desperately need more uh, range characters or, or like decent uh, range characters. Either archers or crossbowmen. And uh, also, the poacher is not that expensive, if I remember correctly. We can actually check that. Uh, it should be less than 500 gold. We now have 3,000. We have decent amount of all supplies. So I think it's worth trying. I checked everyone else. And yeah, at this point, it's just not worth it. Maybe Dirk, but farmhands... And he's also pretty expensive, so there is a good chance that he's greedy. I'm not, not giving a farmhand 12 gold per turn. Well, let's just try Kale, and then we accept uh, one of the contracts and leave uh, Hellstedt after that. Uh, let's see. Should we try out, or do we just recruit him? Well, the tryout would increase the price by almost 20%. No, it's not worth it. Let's just hire him, we see what happens. Okay, fingers crossed. Give me like two stars in the ranged, uh, uh, ranged attack. Uh, well, I didn't expect that. The starting number 48 is kind of low, that's why I don't like poachers as much as boys and the uh, hunters but I mean three stars that's decent what is he sure shooting that's melee defense and dialing means what poison effects last one additional time. that's not the end of the world let's see he has two stars in initiative as well I could try to make him into a crossbowman like a frontline crossbowman that would rely on a dodge instead of heavy armor. How does... where is it? Glancing... Don't remember how that perk is called exactly. Uh, give me a second, please. I need to find it. Nimble is specialized in light armor. Here. Uh, by nimbly dodging or deflecting blows, convert any hits to glancing hits. Hit points damage taken is reduced by up to 75%, but lowered exponentially by the total, total penalty to maximum fatigue from body and head armor. The lighter your armor helmet, the more you benefit. Probably doesn't affect this perk. So we could make Kala into a crossbowman who is nimble, has a dodge, how does this work? Gain 15% of the character's current initiative as a bonus to melee and the range defense. Um, because we have two stars in initiative, the initiative should be pretty damn high in the end. Okay, I'll think about this a little bit more. This is going to be one of the test builds. I've never uh, made this kind of build, a crossbowman that would rely on uh, like dodge instead of heavy armor. When I'm building frontline crossbowman, it's always with heavy armor. But to start initiative, I probably should take advantage of that. Let's see, we have, I think Bertram, yeah, Bertram is disloyal, so we can move him 
to the reserve and he won't complain. Shade should be now fine in the front line. And Kala will move forward. Let's see. Uh, we don't have any gear for him though. Well, we have the crossbow. Let's give him the crossbow and the proper quiver. But we need better armor and uh, better helmet. We can probably give him this helmet. That's fine. Crossbowman can have, or at least until we like build up uh, the appropriate defense uh, defenses, we can give him like heavier armor. It will take a while until we can start relying on dodge. And now we have to buy better body armor. Let's see. Is there anything here? 125. This is a decent one. Pretty cheap. Let's get rid of this. Still gonna keep quivers by the armor. Can we buy one more quiver for... Uh, a crossbowman. Nope. Um, yeah, let's accept the contract now when we are here. And where are you, buddy? I also, I'm going to change the name from Kale to... Profit. Someone actually wanted to become a crossbowman, and I think this is a perfect opportunity. Good. So, Hellestad wasn't uh, such a disappointment after all. Mm. Uh, where is Howling Desert? Oh, it's right here. Well, they'll be a bit farther away. Um, well, we can probably check here. Hopefully we won't have to go that far. And we don't have to fight anything. They just want us to find the location under the tomb. If we see... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What the hell is this necromancer? Uh, this is not bad. We could do this fight. Just for experience, we can't expect anything else. But experience should be worth it. And here's the unearthed tomb. So they came from there. This suggests there should be... <clears throat> uh, just zombies. But I really don't want to risk running into ghosts. We are not ready for that. We don't have a sergeant yet. So ghosts would totally uh, destroy us. Let's just try to catch this guy. Oof, okay, I was afraid that I might have caught him too close to the location and he would get reinforcements from there. Um, wait, I'll have to move forward because I need to get our archers in the range of that necromancer. Wait. Oh, there he is, hidden behind the tree. It's going to be pretty annoying. Wonder if I could send someone to the, to the necromancer, maybe take him out. How many armored zombies do we have? One, two, three, four. I can see only four of them. I'd have to stand here if I wanted to have a shot on the necromancer, and the 
Definitely doesn't look safe. I think if I can send Kamiya Mutsu. One, two, three, four, four. It should work. And I'll just send the Prophet up so that he's safe. Okay, let's go already. Come on, people, we can't afford it to miss. These buffed up zombies can be really dangerous. Good. Wait. Um, let's focus on the armored ones. Wait. So far, so good. Two, three, can I get all the way to him? Okay, great. So I have him locked in place. And hopefully, with the flail, I'll be able to kill him before he can do too much damage with all those buffs that he can give to his zombies. Uh, wait. Come on, it was 87% uh, mess. You tell me we'll have to wait. There we go. Another one down. Okay, he doesn't have any weapons. Oh, so that should be pretty easy now. The zombie doesn't have any weapon either, and this one will probably just sit here. He should go down pretty quickly. Uh, let's see. I'll just wait for the armored guy to get in range. Attack him. Lop. Wait. Uh, here. Again, let's just wait for the armored one. Ah, come on. Wait. Seriously? Oh, the, uh, the military pick is really not that effective against uh, hit points. It's really a weapon against armor. Yes, I won't be hitting any of the armored ones. Actually, oh, come on. Wait, wait, what about this guy? No, he's just sitting there as expected. Wait. Ah, come on, Shade. That was like a third mess in a row, I think. There we go. 
go. Let's try this one as well. Good. Barney, what's the problem? Too tired? Oh, no hit points. I mean, action points. Wait. Good. There we go. And let's send Bjarne forward as well. I don't want to have Hamamatsu alone fighting uh, this zombie. The flail is not super effective against zombies. I want to just send help. Wait. Also, Hamamatsu is pretty tired. Why is that? Uh, more reinforcements, wait, 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 yeah, I'll probably have to kill all these zombies twice, it's taking too long. Now we are talking, finally. You can save ammo. Wait, wait. Come on guys, let's try to kill them before more of them are revived. There we go. That knife is surprisingly effective. There we go. So what did we get? Uh, signet ring, that's unexpected. Okay, that was pretty good. And did we get any emotions? We did. Actually, we already have rallied the troops. I forgot that uh, I gave that to myself already. Let's check the numbers first. Pretty bad. So definitely resolve. Let's take melee defense. And I think the only plus three max fatigue when we have one star here, that sounds really bad. So maybe I'll just take uh, range defense this time. Plus three range defense when there is no stars. It's maximum that we can get. I think... We'll need a better sergeant. This is just not good enough.
Hmm. The best I can hope for is some kind of a, like a utility tank. Let's go for rotation. Good work. Something like that. And then we'll see. Uh, we'll start with rotation. And I'll decide the other perks later. Really not sure what else I should take. Brawny, but it's probably too early for that. Right, let's go for rotation first. Anyone else? Nope. Uh, what is this wound? Due to 40 days, minus hit points, minus fatigue. Uh, that's why he was so tired after like two attacks. Okay. Back to Hellestad. Get our reward. I'll check if we can get tools and supplies. No. Prices are still pretty bad. We can get 281 for the signature ring though, so it's probably worth it. Let's check. Oh, check. Let's sell all of this. And just in case. No. Okay. Um. Where do you want to go now? Uh, Adlersburg. Adlerberg. Which way? Let's go. Directly south. Can I climb? Oh, what is this? We need battle standard. We have the money to afford the battle standard. Don't really care about the battle standard too much. But I'm not sure what exactly we'd have to do to fulfill this ambition. Right, what about the company? Let us pay a visit to every settlement far and wide. Do I really have to visit every single city? Uh, on the other hand, we are doing that anyway. We are looking for recruits. Okay, let's let's take this one. May take a while. That's oh, okay. What are black shields doing? What are you up to, guys? Let's wait till the morning. So there is something. Just zombies. Fine. Good enough. It's free experience. And from there, we'll go south and check if we can find something here. It's gonna take forever before they get us. Although, this helmet looks like something we might be interested in. I didn't expect that we might get some upgrades from a fight like this. Let's see, are they moving? Yeah. What kind of weapons do they have? Just basic spears. We don't have to worry about those much. Let's see. Can we hit them? No. Oh. oh, let's just wait one more turn. Hmm. 
we finally hit something? Wait, wait. Now they should be able to get to us finally. Let's see. There we go. So we have what, like four, five armored ones? One, two, three, four that we know about so far. Come on. Wait for the second shot. I should probably move closer to them. The center of the line will never get any action unless I start moving. Oh, there are more armored zombies, so that's like six, seven. Okay, how many people do we want to leave up here? Well, two should be enough. Wait. Where is the third one? There's still third zombie somewhere. Where the hell is it? There, it's just a normal zombie. But because it's so slow... 
I'll probably have to kill all the other zombies twice. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, come on. There we go, that is better. Um, let's wait. Please don't mess, I want to end the fight here. There we go. Okay, we even have, what, three level ups? That's not bad. And what did we get? Another ring and a little bit of gold. Well, it was a very easy fight, so can't expect much. Agil. Agil is supposed to be a tank. Probably should give him a steel brow. Executioner is probably going to be a waste of time for what I want to do with Agil. Recover might be useful. Even adrenaline, but I think I'll go for fast adaptation first. So that we have a higher chance to hit with the second stab every turn. And uh, wait, with the dagger, crippling strikes are pretty good. We could go with for the combination of crippling strikes and executioner, but I think by the time we get the like the first injury, the mm, the enemy will already be almost dead. So I think that would be a waste. Maybe I'll take these two like as the last two perks if we have enough points. But uh, it can wait now. Yeah, let's start with fast adaptation. Mm, this is pretty good. One, two. Gonna need high fatigue, so it's very disappointing. We didn't get decent roll there. Uh, plus four resolve might be useful, or plus three health. I think I'll go for that health. Uh, Dirk. Dirk is definitely a throwaway. So, what do we give him? Uh, executioner. Almost everyone will have that. And again, just plus one. Uh, Yeah, whatever. Okay, Shade. We need good rolls now. Plus three. Plus three. I would love to get a higher range defense. Plus three is a very nice roll, but I can't afford to neglect fatigue. I 
think I have to take it. Even though that was a maximum range defense roll, the fatigue is just so important. And... We need Brawny, but I think Brawny can still wait. I'm also not sure if I want to decide on a weapon yet. Because it can always happen that uh, we get like a good, unique, two-handed mace. And instead of giving Shade X, which is the plan, I'll end up with the mace, which can be also pretty damn good. Let's actually go for Brawny, and we will wait with the specialization until we get uh, the final weapon, or at least first really good weapon. Okay, uh, let's head south. I want to see what's around here if I have to bother going back here or not. Nope. I was hoping we would find like a brigand camp here. It would be ideal. How much money do we have? 2900. When we sell items that we have, we will have like three and a half. Let's see what we can find here. First, let's check shops. It's about time that we found the first unique item. I'm just curious. We, of course, can't afford it, but. I want to at least see one. Uh, oh, this looks pretty good. This is what? This is 250. I'm checking the stats. But this one looks so damn good. Is this one? Uh, drag onto a shield. Okay. There is a different set for armor and for shields. And what the hell is this? Have a level armor. It looks like a new, uh, new picture for the heavy level armor. I think used to be different. Actually, pretty bad prices. I think we won't be selling anything. Uh, weaponsmith. Uh, nothing either. We could buy Heavy Hammer, but I don't think it's worth it. Also, it would cost us everything that we have, so no, we actually can't afford to do that. Let's see. At least they have tools and supplies for a reasonable price. How does it look like with food? We should be fine on food for quite a while. I'll just reorganize this quickly. And we're gonna buy... How many can we have? 150. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna spend a lot of money this time. That's 100. I could buy all of it. Right? It's 20, so it's 105, we would have 145, and drop to what, like 1200? Maybe, let's check the recruits. Deserter, oh, there is a cell sword. Yeah. That's maybe the best background, and it's only 2300. I screwed up. 17. 
Well, we are definitely not buying more tools and supplies. I think I'll make a cut here and in the next episode we try to find a location as close as possible get money get our money get some loot we're gonna sell that and uh, get that cell sword before he disappears we can try uh, Neufarn if they get or get if they give us uh, a contract but then I want that cell sword Also, just head this way, and I'd be really surprised if there was nothing here. Oh well, I'll think about that off camera. I think for today we are done. So I hope that you like this episode. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. Until then, have a good time. Bye bye.